بتاعنا هنا يعني هسه هاي المنطقة الساتر مالتهم كان؟ ايه ساتر مالتهم كان هم 11 قبل يعني من كنا نطلع ما كان طرفنا مال اربي الاقليم آه. كان بغداد بغداد بس هذول شرطة ولا جيش؟ جيش جيش We are now approaching the checkpoint of the uh, central government of Iraq in order to get to uh, the home of Miriam. ازيك يا مريم؟ زينة انت كيفك؟ انا زي الفل، انت فين بلدك؟ جاي من قراقوش برضو؟ ايوه من قراقوش انا ايه اكتر حاجة انت حاسة ان هي كنت بتحبيها في قراقوش مش موجودة هنا دلوقتي في المخيم؟ كان عندنا بيت وكنا متونسين بس يعني هنا ما متونسين، بس الحمد لله يعني الله سترنا، الله حب حبنا وما قبل يعني يقتلونا داعش انت حاسة بإيه ناحية الناس اللي ممكن تبقى خرجتك من البيت وتعبتك ما راح اسويهم ولا شيء بس يعني اقول لله يسامحهم When I first met Miriam in the refugee camp Back in December 2014, I was deeply touched by her true faith. And when Sat7 Network released her video online, hundreds of thousands of people were touched as well. She is a 10-year-old Iraqi refugee driven from her home by ISIS. Her message of forgiveness has gone viral. She has nothing against ISIS. She forgives them. It's very important for people in America to hear this message so they can really know that the Middle East is not that bad place, but even if you do have hardships there, you still have hope and light. <laughs> A lot of the changes took place here since the war with ISIS had started. Both the landscape and the demography of the Christian city of Karakosh were vastly affected. Today, I learned that Miriam and her family returned safely to their original home in Karakosh. I came to visit them and to see how they are experiencing God's faithfulness by bringing them back to their homeland. This is one of Miriam's wishes that came true. The whole family greets us very warmly since the moment we met. I visited Miriam twice in the refugee camps back in 2014 and 2015 and was longing for the moment to pay her a visit when she's back to her home. We will be sharing their home for the coming days during the Easter week. And I believe it will be an exceptional experience to celebrate Easter with Mary and her family. <laughs> Miriam and Zomorud, her sister, start to help in cooking and baking to prepare a meal for us as visitors. Zomorud is feeling safer now after her returning to Karakosh, celebrating Easter with her family and friends at home. I mean, when I came back to the house, I felt happy because I was very happy to be here. I had friends here and the church here. And all the things that I love and I have memories of them and I was young. All of them are all here. اليوم دخلنا البيت 
بعد مرور ثلاث سنوات لقد رفع الصليب سرقوا كل شيء وهو هو البيت على خراب دكتور وليد's family was amongst the lucky families whose houses were neither torched nor demolished by ISIS at the time of war. زمرد انت كنت متخيله انك في وقت هترجعي ولا لا؟ ايه كنت متاكده يعني خصوصا الوقت لما كنا بالكرفانات حسيت انه اكو يوم راح نرجع بي يعني نسترجع ذكرياتنا وراح نرجع هنا على قرقوش. Zumurud's smile emphasizes the power of love and hope over hatred and blood. The peace the family is experiencing today is reflecting a great deal of true faith that was formed during the hard times in the past years. <laughs> Alice and the girls start to prepare klecha. It's a local dessert as a gesture of welcoming us. <laughs> And we cooked for them a local Egyptian dish called koshari. Then we all shared an unforgettable tasty meal. While baking, Alice told me that she's very happy that we are visiting them at their home, the thing that reflects a true and unique sense of friendship and unity that makes us more than just friends. We became family. Miriam and Zumorud start to call me uncle and Magdalene auntie. That really touched our hearts. Alice shared with me about the daily life in Karakosh and the challenges they face after the return. Alice is an active woman. She starts her day in the early morning. She now leads a stable life, unlike before. أنا أصلاً مهندسة زراعية متخرجة من كلية الزراعة وهسا دا أشتغل مكان يعني هو منظمة زراعية تساعد أهل منطقتنا إنه يعيدون إعمار الحقول والبساتين اللي اللي مدمرة يعني. After lunch, we had to attend the special Thursday service at Marbihnam and Sara Church, which was completely vandalized by ISIS. The place is packed with people who are eager to be part of the body of Christ, the church, after they were forcefully separated from it for the past years. The churches in Karakosh were all torched. The buildings were left eaten by arsons for days and nights. Yet the spirit of longing and belonging that lives inside the hearts of Karakoshians helps in resurrecting their church once more from the ashes. This is a special evening, as the church commemorates when Jesus washed the feet of his disciples before his trial.
Today is Good Friday. Alice and the girls go to the church early in the morning before people start to come. They sit quietly, reflecting on Christ's redemption and salvation, as well as on their current situation, witnessing the miraculous restoration done by God to bring them back to their homeland. That reminds them with the power of the Lord and its mighty manifestation with his people in the Old Testament by setting them free of slavery. He still keeps his promises to his people today as he did in the past. أليس أكيد وأنت بتتمشي دلوقتي في شوارع قرقوش بتفتكري قرقوش بتاعت زمان صح؟ شوف يعني حياة عندنا فعلا كانت نشطة لأن كان عندنا هواية ناس يعني كانت المنطقة مليانة ناس قد إيه كان عدد السكان في المدينة قبل اجتياح داعش؟ تقريبا 50 55 ألف هالشكل كنا ودلوقتي؟ إي هسا نص العدد إذا مو أقل من نص العدد مش كل جيرانكم رجعوا صح؟ لا مو كل جيراننا لانه اغلب البيوت اللي حواليكوا اتحرقت وتهبطت صح؟ اكو ايه اللي انحرق اللي تهدم المسروق يعني هالشكل البيوت صارت بغداد suffered a lot during the time of ISIS. People were uprooted from their historical lands and houses were destroyed. Churches' windows were targets for snipers. and holy places turned into battlefields. The situation was devastating. Five years ago, I met Miriam for the first time and interviewed her in a refugee camp. Today. I'm here in Karakosh, Miriam's hometown, asking about her feelings when she returned to her original home. Very happy to see you. Me too. Miriam, uh, your words were so impressive when you uh, give your first testimony. Now I want to know how did you feel when you get back to your home? It's a very, very, very good thing because I, I back to my home, I, uh, I see my home again. I'm living now in my home, so I can I can remember all the great memories I have uh, I, I had before. Our house was uh, was protected by the hand of God, so we thank God because He saved our house. Now you are telling me that God protected your house. Yes, Miriam. Now uh, you don't have all your friends back at school. Like uh, those are not the people that you grow up with, right? Uh, that's true. My mother told me a thing that I will never ever forget it. She told me that God is always with you. Don't care if you have friends, if you don't. When you feel yourself you're alone, just go and talk with him. You will find the, the right way and the great time with him. So Jesus is not only the one who is protecting you, he's also your friend, right? Yes, he is he's my friend, he's my brother, he's my, he's my everything. God is always with me. How do you feel that God is always with you? He always blessed my life. He always uh, blessed me. And do you know, he always uh, um, give me a hand when I am in my examinations, when I am at home, when I have trouble. He always helps me. Miriam, we are now approaching the uh, Easter day. God has opened a new door for you. How do you feel this, that you are celebrating nowadays while you are back at your home? Look, it's not about the it's not about the house about the house. It's not about the place that you're living in. It's about what you feel in your heart. It's about what you see that God is doing for you. It's about that God is always protecting and you can just count on him. Miriam has grown in her faith as the years have gone by. One of her wishes back in 2014 was to be able to get back to school as there was none in the camp. كنت بتحبي المدرسة في كاراكوش صح؟ ايوه وكنت أولى دايما. كان عندك أصحاب كمان في المدرسة؟ ايوه. موجودين هنا معاكي ولا ما فيش ولا حد فيهم هنا؟ اكو بس ما بس ما أعرف وينهم. 
Miriam and Zumorod are now attending their school normally in Baghdad. Their grades are always great. Their school organizes lots of social activities in order to help students bond with their surrounding culture once again after the years they spent in diaspora. Magdalene conducts a Bible study group in Egypt with girls the same age as Mariam and Zumurud. They were so moved when they watched Miriam's testimony and were engaged in heartfelt prayers for her and her family. <laughs> The girls loved the gifts very much, and they sent messages of love to the Bible study group in Egypt. In 2015, I saw Mariam already two years ago on screen, and was so encouraged by her message. I was so blessed to meet her face to face for the first time, and also to meet the whole family and to see this faith, practically how they live and how they pray, not just on screen. Magdalene is a ballet instructor. She taught the girls some worship dances along with their friends at home. Alice joined the dance and she showed Magdalene the basics of the Karakoshin Dapke. Miriam's story is everyone's story. We all pray for a lot of things and we wait and wait and wait and then by time we lose hope. So here at home you find it's just the time but he will listen and hear to you. The time we spend at home with the family is full of precious moments. We remembered a lot of good memories of the past two visits and shared about what was going on in the past few years. Ray lived in Iraq during his school years, and when he revisited the country, he was deeply touched by what he saw. I was at that time 12, maybe 13, uh, when I just came into this country first time. So uh, when we came first here, all of that emotions, the years of living over here just came all through together. And uh, I, for sure, felt very connected with people once I started to talk because I speak the slang and the, um, the accent. I looked at every place around and everything was different. People had been changed and uh, a lot of wars and a lot of uh, difficulties. They care about their future, but they don't have any kind of uh, observing what's going to happen next. Ray starts to see the country through a different perspective when he meets the people and hears their stories. And in spite of the challenging situation he sees, he can still feel the hope that emerges from the hearts of the people here. This uh, place has a lot of ruins around, and the ruins are, are a symbolic of two things. One is the harm, for sure, and the two is the hope for future. Uh, because the church in the Middle East and North Africa always been a witness uh, and those hard times of the persecutions. But the church continue to be uh, the catalyst also for people who are coming back to receive the, the love of Christ. The peace that we felt over here since we came in, the love, the, the warmth of people is very significant. And to me, we're thankful just to spend time with them and we're thankful to uh, be part of their daily life over here. On that night, Christians gather in churches in remembrance of Jesus' crucifixion, when Jesus gave his life as a ransom for many, presenting it as the ultimate offering to the forgiveness of sins.
Afterwards, I met Father Majid, who then took me for a tour to see the damages caused by ISIS militias on the ground. Neither the bullets nor the mortars stop the Christians from celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ in Karakosh. That was a powerful statement of faith. Next morning, Alice starts to shop for the Easter meal. The market in Karakosh is getting busy, as all Christians are buying their needs to prepare for the celebration. It's a special meal that is cooked with joy after 55 days of fasting, remembering Jesus' last days on earth. The church is filled with Christians from different age groups to celebrate Easter. Here, the faces of the children are full of hope, and adults are enjoying their presence in the liberated churches, witnessing the true meaning of resurrection and restoration. The whole scene declares the victory of righteousness over darkness and hatred. It simplifies the meaning of how to be a Christian in the Middle East. We all gathered at home for the meal after the church service to taste the sweetness of fellowship along with the great food. Girls celebrated Easter their way and everybody was happy. It was a remarkable time. The next day, I was ready to leave Iraq. We became a part of Miriam's family. The bond between us is growing deeper and stronger. This time, I leave Iraq knowing that Miriam and her family are in the safe hands of the Lord, who protected them during the past years in the camps, bringing them back to their home, fulfilling His promises.
The whole population of Karakosh gather in the streets of Baghdad, celebrating Palm Sunday. They raise their hands with palm leaves in victory, as well as their voices with chants and songs, ushering hope to the city, remembering the glorious entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, the city of the great King. انت علمتيني حاجات كتير قوي شكرا و... وانت حتى علمتني علمتك ايه انا حسيت مشاعري انا كان عندي مشاعر واريد يعني يعرفون الناس ايش هي مشاعر هذول الاطفال اللي, اللي هنا انت فاكره ترنيمه او فاكره حاجه لما بتبقي قاعده لوحدك كده بتحبي ترنميها او تتكلمي يسوع بيها ولا مش فاكره ولا حاجه خالص عندي ترى عندي ترانيم تحبي تقولي أكتر واحدة أنت بتحبيها؟ تبقى صغيرة وقصيرة بس نسمعها منك، إيه رأيك؟ أكو واحدة